Hi YouTube, I am back with a pick a card. I know I've been in my A. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the individual signs today. I'll do air sign and what is left? I think it's I did fire. I forgot what was left. Oh, air and water. Okay, so I'll continue with those. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, if you're waiting for them, if you're not, then <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started here and see what you need to know. I have four options. Um, and then we'll look also into love. What do you need to know about love as well? Um, but I'll, shuff I'll shuffle that in on camera. So I have four options. I have the pink Pac-Man, the red, the blue, and the orange Pac-Man here. So make your selection and we'll get started. Okay, so let's see what we have the pink what do we have trail to happiness a new happy cycle bright ideas a lot of yellow lacking okay so i feel like right now you f you feel a lack of something like something here is missing it's pretty obvious here um, you know, another thing that is really popping out to me is the pink, even with the Pac-Man here. Um, it's, of course, the yellow is a lot. So good things are coming. Maybe you're using your creativity right now. You maybe feel like something is missing. You might be reminiscing because I always relate pink to soft, reminiscing memories. And I don't know, that's probably for someone. Um, but maybe you're also thinking about the past but in a way that something was not there was no closure or there was no nothing that was it's just missing something that was not given closure it, it didn't end up well that's what I'm also getting um you just feel a bit incomplete but don't worry I feel like right now spirit really wants you to get into your creative ideas your creative side um think about ideas of what to do go out um you know, let's see. What is this lacking for the pink pile? Yeah, see, I don't know if you feel like the something is not being done right or something was done right to you in the past. And that's why you feel like the universe isn't really backing you up or you're not seeing something like you're, you're wrong. You're the wrongdoings being... What is it? Write it or something like that. See, justice is on your side. You have two major arcanas as well. So I feel like justice is on your side. And there's happiness coming. Look at all that yellow. Okay, let's see. What is this bright ideas? What is this bright ideas? Bright ideas, yep, taking action towards your bright ideas, going out there, traveling, doing, um, I don't know, y use your creative side. The uh, Knight of Wands, it brings a message of, you know, going out there, being, um, how do I say it, either traveling or being outgoing, getting into that creative side of yours if you want to start something up, a project. I don't know when I think about projects I think about my own projects like I used to get into you know um, I had a side business before that failed but still I, I got to learn how to do something new I get into I, before that I was into crafting I was always doing um, scrapbooks and stuff like that you know I was very creative I always like to have my place also um i wouldn't do stuff to my place you know I, w I always have it decorated with buddha stuff um i have it everywhere you know so getting into those ideas if you feel you know to take your mind off of something i feel like it's more of you know shifting your perception i don't know if you have been feeling a bit overwhelmed with your feelings or maybe you don't want to maybe you need to transmute that energy because it kind of seems like mm, 
Like you could have some kind of wanting desires, but you need to put action towards your desires. Give me more on this moon. There is a great shift here, I see, for both. See, having the courage to put your energy out there. If you want to create something, go for it. Go for it. There's um something that maybe you're into writing or, you know, something that you want to create yourself. Right now, you know, the universe is going to help those, the creative people. Why? Because it's all about creativity right now. It's about the people now uh, with Aquarius uh, age here. Let's see. Give me more of this trail to happiness. Wow. King of Wands. You might be meeting someone new or this is someone. Yeah. I don't know if you are hoping that someone's coming towards you. There is someone here that... Um, is showing up i feel like this is someone showing up now somebody that you don't see coming at all it could be a very strong leo a sag or an aries but because i see leo here you don't see them coming but there is someone coming and if you are an aquarius here as well you know this is something in love and it's it could be a wish fulfillment something you've been hopeful for Wow, you have a lot of major arcanas. One, two, three, four, five, five. Out of seven. Give me more of the star. You are. Something here is being done right. Yeah. You're going towards a commitment here. Or, you know, really focus on your family. If you're already committed right now, focus on your family. There could be a long term commitment or um, maybe even money coming in but it's a wish fulfillment i do sense it's someone coming in because we have the knight of wands turning into the king of wands and it's not gender specific but you know the knight of wands comes in to me as a reader i feel like the 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 knights come in depending on what's around it of course bottom of the deck I wanted to ignore this because I shuffled off camera, but this was at the bottom of the deck when I started shuffling. Um, so you might be ending something new. That's why you feel this lack. You feel like maybe there was a lack of closure in the past. Something was not given to you, but something wasn't given to you because the universe said, no, you don't deserve that. You deserve this, which is a lot more. It's a, a lot a happier a happier outcome than the past okay you're needing to free yourself from some kind of past something that was done wrong is going to be done right but first you got to do yours i know you might feel incomplete or lack of but change free yourself from that kind of um energy why because i see two people op with open arms to me that just um says a lot you know be open-minded to what's coming because what's coming is way better than the past okay um sometimes we do get into look at that creativity ace of wands again mm, it could be a new person or it could be a new uh business creative idea that you have it's gonna blossom into something huge you're gonna take charge of it you're gonna be a business but you're going to be very action oriented in this and you're going to make your own money here. Um, I'm also getting someone that is self-made too. But um, you can relate it. I can relate it to both love and money here or stability. What was I saying? I lost my train of thought now. Okay, let's see. What about love? love for the pink pile of spirit guides. rocky start so somebody is coming in but it might be a rocky start at first but you'll have to decide if it's worth um you know staying or not i don't know why it would be a rocky start 
Yeah, because maybe it's somebody from the past or maybe you're leaving something from the past because the luggage here is really, I feel like you're maybe in your thoughts a lot, thinking logically. Oh, so it's sorry, like everybody. I have, I have this habit of saying, guys, I have to stop saying that. There's a lot of... Uh, it's not politically incorrect anyways um so sorry about that i had an alarm that's why but anyways um we have a rocky start maybe you are leaving something and it's kind of like turning you into something like um how do i say you're thinking a lot logically and it's it's really really hard for you to leave this that's why your rocky it has a rocky start because you still feel like there is a lack of like you're leaving with something unfulfilled so like something is unfinished something was not cleared up because i do sense that you are a bit sad about what's happened and having to leave a situation or somebody here it does it doesn't really matter but you are leaving here and you're thinking very logically about it um mm -hmm. i feel like you're torn here but what's coming to you is so much better okay that is what i have for you um so sorry about the interruption again that's what i have for you i do see a lot of air a scorpio leo you know and you have a lot of major arcanas for those that don't know what that means is that a lot of things you're not seeing happening right now but they're happening behind the scenes it's not meant for you to see it it, it might be so slow right now it might seem like it nothing is really happening but that's because things are happening behind the scenes you have so many major arcanas which means that you just don't see it yet but the universe is working behind the scenes here okay so i do see a lot of air fire leo like i said sag aries aquarius earth signs um libra okay see so take care of you do some self-care self-love okay that is what i have and you know some of you are very intuitive so you probably can feel this coming in okay um but you just maybe that fear creeps up on you okay so that is what i have thank you so much for watching and let's keep going okay red sorry about that guys i needed to fix my camera um let's see because i'm using it different today so i'm kind of hopefully everything comes out <laughs> okay the red let's see what we have here early stages innocence new detachment colds mechanical oh some of you are going through a new beginning. You've gone through an awakening. You're ascending spiritually. Ascension. We have spiritually ascension. But some of you are cold or feeling cold. Maybe you're needing to really focus on your heart chakra. Um, you know, maybe the last, the last um, cycle really left you a bit. Hmm. detached or maybe you're going through a transit sometimes i relate it to transit sometimes you know you have when if you're having a very hard time detaching to, through something and there is a transit in astrology that is helping you embrace that energy okay don't hang on to anything that is not meant for you if you feel that energy of detachment embrace it okay um but of course sometimes it could be our own um heart chakra that we have to focus on because we've been you know you've been hurt a lot um so you can get to that point where you just completely detach from people maybe you're feeling that or somebody that you're close to is feeling that from you let's see what is this hope Yeah, you've gone through something really um, powerful. Like, 
spiritually you've gone through an awakening now you're using your intuition a lot more it's stronger oh yeah you've been healing you've been going through this healing and it's it's this um stage i feel in your life that you probably for most of you you've never gone through where you're at peace you're you're um empowering yourself you're dealing with some kind of healing that is kind of changing your life um it's some kind of peace that you've probably i don't know I, i'm getting most of you have not felt this kind of peace like um I don't know how to explain it. You just know that you're you're following your intuition, whatever your guys are telling you, whatever. Even even if you don't, you know, you don't you're not close to your guides or your spirit guides or your angels, you are just following what you're feeling. Um you're following your gut feeling. Okay? So it's really powerful because you feel within you and now you're looking at the future and seeking what is best for your higher self, what is best for your own future, you know, like you're looking into the future as in where do I want to be in five years? Where do I want to be in a year? I want a real true happiness. I want um, to, you know, a life that is stable, peaceful. And that's good because you've grown so much from what you've gone through already that you're not you're not gonna accept anything less than what you deserve. That's really good. So if you're not in that energy, you're probably going towards that energy um, right now. But I feel like most of you are. Give me more of this detachment. So if some of you are feeling detached, oh yeah, you are feeling detached from someone that you've probably left let go it was like a really it was true love to tell you the truth most of you were in love with this person there was love from both sides but now there's some kind of coldness could even be a twin flame soulmate but i need more cards than that <laughs> Let's see. I feel like you're just balancing your own emotions. Yeah, something here happened. Somebody is feeling the, the detachment from you, okay? And they're kind of stressed out about it. Like, why did I do that? Somebody is freeing themselves, and I feel like it's you. Um, there was love, and that person is regretting their actions. I really feel like they are not even paying attention to their own intuition because i feel like their guides or in your their guides and angels are really pushing them they're actually even seeing signs i feel they're even kind of whispering to them you need to go and make things right mm -hmm. there could have been some ego that really killed this relationship for some of you some mind games that really killed it and you were just done mm-hmm there's a lot of detachment and they feel it okay so if you're wondering if they even cared yeah they care mm -hmm. they even feel that love even more deep because they can feel your detachment like you are different now give me more of this early stages something new is coming in this could of course if we're not talking about love because i want to relate to love first thing of course most of you it is love um, but it could be a very strong um, relationship here. But I feel like it's love. Okay. So I don't know if you are working on, you know, starting something new. You've detached from an old cycle and now you're working on yourself. You're perfecting your skills or you're perfecting something. You're working very hard on something that is bringing in you. Even yourself, you could be working on yourself. Transmuting that energy of the past and you are going to be moving forward you're going towards success you're going towards stability you're going towards something here that you're really working hard on and it could be also your confidence but just moving forward i don't know why i pulled just two for each let's see give me more on this hermit maybe because it was just straightforward message yeah i feel like you're leaving you left a situation here you chose yourself and that's good that's really good you left a situation that maybe there was a lot of drama there was a lot of mm, i feel like you kind of 
I want to say you escaped from it. I don't know. You just followed your intuition. You had to leave something. And you went fast. I don't even feel... Some of you, this person didn't even... This situation or person, they didn't even expect this from you. Yeah, you didn't even think that you would get to this place. Some of you. Give me more of this um, Five of Swords. Wow. Could have been a... Um, younger person or somebody that was very inconsistent they're regretting their their actions there somebody you had a lot of um, lust a lot of chemistry a lot of attraction somebody that did not really take you serious it could be a traveler as well mm, give me more of this chariot what are you going towards You're leaving something behind and you did choose yourself. You, it hurt you too much. You just realized, you know, it's time for me to leave that, leave that alone. It's hurting me. I need to do something with my life now. That's what I'm getting here. It hurt you so much. And that's why you're taking this time to really heal and think about where you want to go. You want happiness now. You want victory you want to move forward. You are working on yourself, the Empress. You're going towards abundance. Abundance in love and happiness, joy. Um, could be anything. Let's see. Let's get into love and see. Because it kind of seems like this is love already. But you're going towards something that you really want. You're transmuting the hurt into something um, that you're going to feel very victorious in. I don't know if you're creating your own abundance, but it kind of seems like it. Give me more love. Love, spirit guys. Give me some love message here. Okay. There could have been some friends with benefits, or there could be friends with benefits coming up um, that wanted to pop out. Mm. Karmic love. You'll have an instant attraction with your karmic, but it's not meant to last. However, you'll learn big lessons in love. I feel like this is what you're getting over. That's why it's so strong. It keeps coming up. And maybe it was somebody with uh, that wanted you with friends with benefits because I wanted to come out too. Um, it could have been someone that um, you just had to learn huge lessons. How to gain, gain your power back and you know work on yourself i feel like it's coming up like newness is not coming up yet because this is still that something you're working on let's see yeah there is newness coming in <laughs> with the four of wands the nine of wands wanted to come out but i feel like they were working on your your healing right now but I do sense that there is a new creation here. There's new new creative ideas, maybe a new person, but you're going to overcome it. And there is a celebration here, a reason to celebrate. Like you're getting over this. Um, why is this Ace of Wands here? Yep, you're freeing yourself from this. Either this... For some of you, there is a fire sign that's coming back around because they feel your detachment. But I feel like you're making a final decision here to start new. Could be again with your karmic love, of course. Um, for most of you, this is general. So karmic love means that you've gone through a lot of lessons with this person. But it's up really up to you. I am feeling a new beginning with or without this person. Okay, but there is going to be reason um, to celebrate. Okay, there's going to be reason to celebrate. You're, you're, I feel like you're freeing yourself from something and you're starting new for most of you. Okay, for most of you. For others of you, the past is coming back around wanting to um, start all over. But that's really up to you. See, the fool is a new beginning somebody is taking a chance here or you're taking that risk of letting something go 
and creating a new life for yourself that will bring in stability and security. Okay. I'm getting 50-50 uh, here. So I can't really... I see newness for most of you, though. Something you're creating. Yep, it's coming in. I feel like your past is coming back in. See, look at that. Past Six of Cups. But it's up to you if you want to free yourself and wait for someone new. But with this person, you've learned a lot from. You've learned how to gain your... How to empower yourself. You've changed. This person has made you changed in a big way. Okay? So that is what I have. Okay? I do see a Virgo, a Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, Fire, Virgo, um, Sag, Scorpio, Gemini again, Taurus, Pisces. I see all signs here as, except earth oh wow i do see earth actually not a lot though and water pisces could be as well okay so i hope this felt like it resonated thank you so much for watching and i will be back later let's keep going okay so the blue pile let's see what we have for the blue pile golden i always get golden opportunity here maybe you've been um doing something here working on something or working on there is something here that you've probably been healing as well but there is a new life and a lot of people are going through that right now it's interesting to see that's why readers do collective readings because we all go through almost the same thing um either mentally spiritually or physically it manifests here so special occasions special time celebration mm, there's gonna be a reason i feel like it's a golden opportunity a new life that'll turn around i mean a new an opportunity that will turn your life around there's gonna be reason to celebrate but first, you have to cut ties or something here is not good good for you. Okay? Let's see. What do we have here? There could be... Um, maybe you're in the middle right now. For most of you, you are in the middle of um, cutting ties with something. Letting go of something. But that is going to free you up for something that's... I feel like it's waiting for you to do this to free yourself from something or even your thoughts it could be negative thoughts negative vibes um let's see what is this throw out i feel like you're in this energy right now oh yeah see new beginning having faith on what is what you're cutting off having faith i'm sorry if you hear my neighbors they're cutting their grass right now so sorry about that um so have faith there is a new beginning big time you just need to take that risk of you know see you're leaving something behind hurt something that really left you hurt there's a new beginning in front of you, but you have to have faith in it and have that, you know, do what you feel you need to do. But there is a lot of hurt that you're needing to really let go of, okay? Maybe even a situation or a person that hurt you a lot, but it's time to take that risk for to towards a new beginning. Give me more of this Ten of Swords. You're leaving yeah see give yourself that that new beginning S that self-love self-care ace of cups okay think of, put yourself first there is new love on the horizon i feel give me more of this special occasion yeah you're it's a lot of tens well two tens here and ace 
the fool and ace it's new beginnings you're needing to let go of that burden you're feeling the lovers wanted to come out there is an ending there's so many endings here for you you're gonna get over this the six of wands okay getting over a difficult situation it's really really difficult for you to let go but this is going to transform your life you're going to you're going to get over it you're going to um overcome whatever is burdening you okay there is going to you're going to reach some kind of success time for celebration there's going to be reason for celebrating some of you are in the spotlight and probably getting the recognition if you are not because not everybody is but it seems like it <laughs> with TikTok, Instagram, um, YouTube. <laughs> but you're going to be receiving some kind of recognition that's going to change your life. You're just needing to let go of something from the past. Make room for the new that's wanting to come, to come in. There is an opportunity for you. If you're in the spotlight or at work, you're, you're going to receive some kind of recognition that's going to change your life in some way. Okay, you, your environment, I feel, your environment is going to change. There is an opportunity here for you. Like you're getting recognized uh -huh, by people. Maybe even by somebody here. There's a new love coming in. Let's see, what is this golden? What's this golden? Wow. There's an opportunity here, guys. I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself. You're probably also healing, keeping to yourself, learning how to, learning about your soul's purpose too. Maybe you're, you're really getting into your spiritual path and really wanting to know what your purpose is in life. Thinking about your future, seeking that stability, security, that happiness, that love, you know, but you're learning how to love yourself. You're learning how to live in with integrity here. Wow. I feel like there is going to be something here that's going to come in. It's it's going to lead you to a higher level of commitment. It could be a very strong soulmate. I do sense that there's a new beginning in love. Okay, I was trying to get more of general, but it looks like it's pointing more towards love. You're getting over something. Somebody's going to come in. It could be a Scorpio. Somebody that is seeking. I don't know if you're healing from something right now. But you, if you are, I feel like something new is coming in. And it's going to change your life. Yep, it's a new life. A golden opportunity. Let's see. What else we have? What's at the bottom? Yeah, a wish fulfillment. I think the first pile had that. Uh, okay. Let's see. What do we have here? New love or just love in general for blue. <clears throat> the blue. I pre-shuffled, guys, for you guys. And I'll see. I'm kind of anxious to see if we're going to get the same card. Because <laughs> I did see it. Healing love. Okay. We have healing love here. Because I do sense someone here is healing. Um, there is a love that will force you to heal all those parts of yourself you've been neglecting. You deserve healthy love. I do sense healthy love coming in. There is a transformation either within you or your environment. But it kind of goes hand in hand once you heal within yourself maybe you're feeling blocked in love um this healing this person is also going to um or maybe you're also you're already gone through this i'm getting for most of you you've gone through something that made you look at the parts that you need to heal yourself like if you're having those um like this person made you realize that you need healing. Like they triggered something within you that made you realize, wow, I need to really work on myself with this. It could be anything. Your confidence, your self-esteem, 
um, maybe it could be anything within you okay they forced you to look at that they were a mirror to you for others of you there could be someone coming in that will i do believe in healing love i do believe that there is relationships that come together and they heal themselves um but that's pretty rare <laughs> i feel like it's rare <laughs> now it, it during this these days nowadays you know it's pretty rare but let's see give me more of this healing love and look at that how they're both with their hands and there's like a bubble there I f that's why I feel like most of you you've already gone through that like this person was a mirror to you that forced you to look within you what you need to fix fix yeah even getting that courage that courage within you that empowerment that your power back freeing yourself and there is a wish fulfillment here oh something's turning around for you big time your life is changing it's a new life here it's a wish fulfillment you're getting the courage you have to have the courage though you're getting that strength to start new and and because of that strength your life your love life or there's a new life coming in for you a new path is being unleashed that's what i'm feeling and you might be going towards your emotional fulfillment here family love your ten of cups ooh, could be with a fire sign or somebody very attractive but they're on their way i feel mm -hmm. it could be a leo um but and it's gonna be a wish fulfillment a new cycle a new life like hitting the jackpot here in love okay so I, that's what I have. Okay, so it could be, um, well, I see Leo here, water, a lot of water, um, Aries, Pisces, Air, Scorpio, I see a lot of Leo, Taurus, mm, Virgo, water. That is what I have. I hope this felt like it resonated. Thank you so much again for watching. Let's move forward. okay orange let's see what we have for orange sorry i needed to stop for a minute we have divine timing it looks like a clock um kind of laughing because i was like i needed to stop for a minute and then i see the clock okay so divine timing okay look closely pay attention travel there's movement you're moving forward pay attention here you could be meeting a foreigner maybe for some of you maybe somebody from long distance is coming in or maybe you're traveling but be careful look at things very closely look at the details orange group i don't know why but trust the plan have some patience um look at details be very very careful on what you're signing what you're doing um anything uh, spontaneous be careful i don't know why i'm getting spontaneous don't be in a rush okay let's look more into it though trust the plan okay trust that everything is happening the way it should every time i see something like this uh, like a card like this i think about how i first started started um learning my um vedic chart which i didn't know because i was just doing what you know what came up in my life you know i just took the opportunity i did everything the way that i felt you know i was just going about my life the way that it seemed to you know just life living life and when i studied my vedic it it ends up that you know i'm in a phase where i'm supposed to be using my voice you know so that's what i'm doing right now using my voice so it's like i didn't even know that in, until after i you know i started youtube i started learning my vedic chart and i'm like wow somehow i ended up here where i'm supposed to be you know so 
um that's what i always think of when i i see divine timing trust the plan because sometimes you might not even know what's going on in your chart and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing according to your astrology astrological chart your astrology chart it's interesting it's so interesting guys like i was blown blown away from my my chart give me more of this travel travel i don't know if you're traveling or you're leaving something behind that is very burdensome okay oh yeah you are you're cutting off all the burden you're maybe even traveling letting go of something for the time being or um starting a new cycle you've gone through a cycle you've thought about it a lot but i feel like somebody here is cutting off all the responsibilities about something that has been very draining i do sense a lot of travel because the map is standing out um you're cutting off something be careful with spontaneous really think about it okay clearly but maybe you've already thought about it and you're cutting something off and you're leaving it behind give me more of this ace of swords maybe you're breaking away from some kind of um stop this cycle that has been keeping you in your head a lot yeah and you're choosing yourself again the last pile was choosing their self too a lot of you are that's why a lot of the readers do collective readings because it's almost the same energy that's going around it's either mentally physically it's manifesting in everybody's life in a different way though mentally physically or spiritually um hmm. maybe you really have needing to have discernment or you're really following your intuition here um you're very intuitive for some of you you're thinking clearly and you're going you're using your intuition you're using that discernment um yeah you're leaving something behind give me more of this look closely you're getting over something you're reaching some kind of success you're overcoming this difficult time yeah difficult time you're letting go of something that was very struggling for you maybe you have this inner conflict about leaving it behind but you're doing the right thing so pay attention to your intuition pay attention to what the signs what are they if you have some inner conflict because it goes from five of wands to six of wands you will overcome that difficulty um so just pay attention be careful to not get into any kind of conflict with any anybody or any situation here put yourself first yeah so justice is here anything that was done wrong to you you will overcome once you you, you really start focused on your own power okay queen of wands is not gender specific but the message that it brings is empowerment you know um getting your confidence back your confidence your self-esteem working on you taking that action enjoying life having that passion for life being the life of the party but be careful look at things uh, i also get contract okay maybe you're needing to be careful signing something or getting into a new new something okay have patience don't do things spontaneously because um if we do something without even thinking or it could really you know complicate stuff but i'm i'm sensing that something complicated that you're leaving behind spirit is saying the universe is going to reward you for it something like that something is being done right for you okay Give me more of this divine timing. Oh, Queen of Wands and King of Wands. Wow, it could be a very strong Sagittarius. There could be reconciliation or there could be um, something that's just changing in your life. There's someone coming in and it's going to be your counterpart. It's going to be a life partner, a soulmate, twin flame, whatever. Oh, there's a new contract here. 
I don't know if there is ego involved here with someone from the past because I do sense some kind of um, how do I say there's someone here that could be for some of you it's someone here that is you have a, a contra soul contract to fulfill with them but if you're waiting on someone that kind of has this ego within themselves I feel ego give some give time time you know let some time go by or have some patience because that person is still working out what they really want to do like a part of them they want to come towards you a part of them doesn't there every time the devil and the temperance for me as a reader it's it's their either your higher self and your lower self like it's like the angel and the devil on you know you see that movie <laughs> movies or uh, tv shows where you have the angel on one shoulder and the devil on another shoulder i feel like there is some kind of balance happening here but somebody here i feel like they're in between something um let's see give me more on this I don't know if it's ego. Somebody here is wanting to do something, reconcile, or can't let go. But it, ego is taking over, or they're just not following their intuition. Oh, wow. Somebody here is, you're needing to really, okay, so this time is being given to you so you can free yourself and become more independent, take charge of your life, and really know what your value is. This time is given being given to you by the universe to free yourself and really find your independence uh, detach from a situation become detached from someone there is someone coming in that's going to see your value okay so i don't know if you have two options you could for most of you you could have two options here in love i'm trying to get i mean i am getting general meaning that you might be traveling or you might be doing something for your own good i'm also getting that you might be working on yourself getting your independence um really focused on your mind body and soul here freeing yourself and that's what the universe is wanting from you maybe you have this conflict of not knowing if you should let go of something or not um but you most of the time you are like set on i should just let it go let it go for most of you mm -hmm. But for others of you, if you have not detached from someone, um, you're given this time to detach from someone. I feel like it's someone. I'm trying to make it general, but I can't because I see it here. It's someone or something. You need to give it time. Don't try because you're going to just bump into struggles if you keep wanting to do something your way. Universe is saying no, it's not your time, it's not your way, it's not, it's our way. Okay, you can't go against the universe here, and that's what it's telling you. Okay, so let's see, give me more. What is in love for this pile? Give me a message in love. Karmic love, you probably were. If maybe you are in someone else got this another pile got it happily ever after at the bottom of the deck so I feel like you're going through something here some big lessons in love with someone karmic but it's teaching you how to value yourself and prepare for somebody that is going to provide for you that is going to take you serious that's going to want to be there for you okay this person could be very cold distant and they could be you know wanting you probably had a lot of burden on you like you took the responsibility most of the responsibilities of connection but it's taught you self-love how to let go this person you don't know because they are showing you that they are very um, cold distant but they have their own work to to they have their own healing to work on because i feel like they you don't know this but they're keeping up a boundary because they have some kind of um emotional emotional struggles i'm getting give me more of this moon yeah they're they're getting some kind of 
realization here if you're keeping up boundaries with this person they're getting some kind of uh, realization because of their coldness their blockage blocking you there was a lot of struggles in this and it had to fall apart the spirit the universe is saying no you cannot keep going continuing like this something has to change with this karmic love okay so i don't know if they were being cold distant here this karmic love there's a lot of struggles um something just couldn't keep going like this because there was no uh, somebody was just being too cold distant here very logical instead of emotional and you were, th I feel like you were the one that was a lot more emotional here, okay? But this this person is teaching you really huge lessons. Um, and is teaching you how to detach yourself, become more independent, taking charge of your life and seeing your value. And I feel like someone else is going to come in. Give it time, okay? Give it time. Because the universe is giving you this time to really realize your worth and take your power back, okay? I feel like most of you, this person hasn't came in yet, but because there is someone here that is still lingering on, I feel. They will be coming in, but it's really up to you if you want to free yourself from this. Once you're in this detachment, not detached, but independence, you'll be able to free yourself from anything that doesn't um serve you and you're attracting somebody that will be there for you just the way that you will be there for them okay so i do see a virgo scorpio aries pisces aries taurus could be a pisces that just came out of nowhere could be a sag capricorn scorpio cancer pisces aquarius cancer fire leo libra a lot of fire air yeah, that is what I have for you. I hope this felt like it resonated. Look, it could be a new beginning here, a new fire sign. But maybe you're stressing over this new beginning, not having it again. So they, trust the plan. Trust the plan, okay? I know that's very difficult to do. Trust me. I know. I, I know how difficult it is, okay? So thank you so much again, and take care of you. Bye.